It's not shocking when a basketball team has good chemistry. In Emporia State men's basketball coach Sean Vandiver has seen his fair share of close teams, but this year there's a little twist for the Emporia State Hornets. The Hornet head basketball coach is a towering figure on the basketball court. At 6'10", that's no surprise. Vandiver's resume also casts a big shadow. He was a first-team All-Big 8 center in Colorado, the 25th overall pick in the 1991 NBA draft, and played nine years of professional basketball in Europe. Basketball has been a part of Vandiver's life for decades, but this season he's learning something new. This is the first time I've actually coached one of my kids, and, and like I said, it made me wish I could do a do-over. That's how rewarding this has been. Vandiver saw two of his daughters play basketball in college, and after a transfer over the summer, he now gets to coach his son, Gary. And when I told my dad, we had a long discussion about what I had to do to be a basketball player. So that summer, I just dedicated myself to losing weight, running, making that transition over. And when I came here, I kind of told myself to do whatever it takes to see the floor and stay on the floor. Nice, nice, nice. Who's up next? Garen has scored in double figures in seven out of the last eight Emporia State games. I mean, I'll be honest, the, the selfish part is, is the coach supersedes the dad. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, you know, play well, help me win games. But it didn't start without some tough love. Second day of practice, he forgot where he was at, and he said something to me, and I snapped at him, and I, I ended my um, little rant with, I don't care who your mother is. No, uh, uh, you're going to do things my way. And we've been good ever since. Playing for my dad, I knew I wasn't, nothing was going to be easy. So, like, I had to make sure I was the hardest worker every day. When it comes to basketball, Sean made sure his family always knew who the best in the family was. The, the proudest thing I always tease my three oldest kids is they never beat me in a one-on-one -on -one game. So, I'm officially retired now. The knees are gone. They've lost their opportunity. If they couldn't beat me three years ago, it ain't gonna happen again. My older sister was the closest out of us three. And yeah, he's undefeated. None of us beat him, but he's dead. Carving. Yeah, the ball.